all right guys this video we are going to work on a bump chart bump chart is really good for showing data as a ranking across time so here's a perfect example we have teams in la liga and we want to show who has been on the top five over the past five years all right so we have uh five teams actually but some other team are showing up inside the chart because uh, these are teams that didn't show up from the start which is 2014 and 15 all right and then they show up uh in the next year or maybe just only one time you know on the last year so how are we going to make this chart uh let's take a look i'm gonna take this one out all right let's move it out from our scene right, as a reference now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this chart uh, highlight the table sorry highlight the table area and then we are going to make a uh, live with marker all right and it's going to look really weird from the beginning don't worry about it just switch row column first and it looks quite all right and then the next thing you're going to do is as you guess you are going to switch uh, reverse the order all right and then take this off the legend we don't need it and then you want to move it in a little closer all right and i'm going to take this chart title off for now now you might be able to guess that we are going to play with marker of all this stuff so uh, let's do that let's uh, change the marker All right, I'm gonna make the option built in. I should be 12. All right, and uh, let's change the view. Well, let's leave the view like this first. Uh, marker, we don't need the border. So let's go to the next one. Marker is 12. And then we have a uh, few solid. We have border, no lie for the border. For the third one, then you have uh, again marker option, well, and then no line. Okay, this one also built in 12, and then no line. This one also. See, the, the process is pretty tedious, right? Alright, we up for the last one. Okay, so 12 did they get that very no no bot. Okay. Now see whether it'll be a close. Not quite, right? We're gonna leave some we're gonna put some space down here. And then uh, another thing is trick that I think is quite useful. Uh you're not gonna show number six, you're not gonna show number zero. So you might need to play some magic here all right their minimum would be 0 0.9 and the maximum should be uh, 5.1 okay and the major be one in this case we have a, some space in between the top and the bottom and then we leave out all the things that didn't really show up from the first year okay so that's what we're going to do first now we're kind of getting really close to the finish line here but here we have to, we have to perform a little magic okay uh, we have to link all this all these labels and we are going to do that by using the uh, inserting the text box the easiest way to do this is to do it once and then copying everything and then uh, you can change it later okay so what i did was i insert the text box i go to the uh, formula bar press equal sign and then click on barcelona then press enter 
right? You get the first one. Now all you need to do is copy this, Control C, and then Control V here, Control V again, Control V. Keep copying. We're gonna change this later. Don't worry about it. All right. So you have Barcelona here. The second one. Just click on it, okay? Don't worry. Just click on it, and then go back to the formula bar. Press equal sign, and then go to Real Madrid, and then press enter. You change to Real Madrid. And the third one here, click on it, move it around, move it closer to number three. Press equal sign here, Atletico Madrid. And the fourth one, move it here. Again, equal sign. Fourth one is blend here. And last one is Sevilla. We actually have more, right, if you know. So I'm going to copy from Sevilla and put it here. Uh, we have, obviously we have Real Real. We still have Atlantic Bilbao. And then the last one is Getafe. So I'm going to do it backward. I know Getafe is here. This one is Sevilla. And this one is Villarreal. I'm going to change that. And then the last one. Atlantic Bilbao. Right here. So it's kind of too small. I'm going to increase the size. And I'm going to increase the size. Actually, going to decrease the size here for that. All right. Then I'm going to increase the size of all this so that we have enough space. Just make sure that everyone is in the uh, in the same line. Just only one line. Okay. Now you are going to do a lot of uh, alignment here. There's five items. You have to make sure that they match. So I'm going to change the alignment first. And then the next thing you're going to do is I'm going to go to shape format and then go to align and then align right. Okay. So that looks better. See if I can decrease the size and then move it here. Okay, now let's look better, right? Now this Barcelona is a little bit too high, so I'm going to move it down. If you want to move around and you don't want it to, if you want to move like vertically and you don't want it to go left, right, you can just hold a shift when you move down. Okay, that, that would work. And then you might want to rearrange all this. So uh, click on them, click, and then press shift, hold it. And click on the next item, next item until the last item. Now you select the five item, then you can go to share format and then align again, align, uh, distribute vertically. Okay, now that's better. Almost done, right? You don't, one thing that you don't need is this. You don't need this number because you want to show just only the, the, uh, the team name, the club name. So delete, oh, my bad, that's wrong. Ooh. So you just need to delete what is it? You're gonna delete this one. Okay, delete the uh the number. You don't need that. Now next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the uh the item that are closer to uh, to the one that popping up during these five years are closer to the uh, the actual data okay and last thing you guess it you have to change the color right so just go ahead and change the color of each item so this one is blue okay so it's this blue make it both Everybody is orange. Everybody is orange. Okay. 
Hydro chromatic is uh, gray. The lens here is yellow. The DR is light blue. Let me check again. Alright. Now, uh, the other is green, right? I'm not sure which green. Let's do a little check here. Here's the last one. I can do all into this one. Okay, we can get off a kind of a brick color. So let's do that. Where's the brick color? We don't have it. I'm gonna change it to this. Orange. Let's do that also. Okay, so let's click on this and then put the uh, another text box. But this time, we're not going to link to anything, we're just going to copy this information. And then maybe it's too much, so I'm going to change the color to this. And don't forget that one thing you could do here is you're going to change the color to match the uh, match the color of the actual team name. All right, let's see. Well, the color scheme are not the same, but let's see whether we accomplish what we came for. Move this one back and see. Oh, you know what? One last thing that we're going to do is we have to put the label. Alright, I almost forgot that. So let's take this one out of the way. Oops. And then let's put the label. Now, this is kind of tricky. So let's go to format. Oh, sorry. Go to chart design. We are going to add the data label in the middle. Okay, let's do that for, for all of them. Okay, so let's see what we have to fix. Data label here. Uh, that, this one is really tricky, so let me show you something here. If you go right to the format, anywhere in the graph, you just go to format chart at rear. And then uh, I'm going to show you this. When you click on this line, it will be selecting the uh, theory option for Barcelona, right? If you want to get to that text inside, you have to go to Barcelona data data label All right, and you can see that the handle changed a little now you can uh, you can change the color this is too dark right let's change it to bright color this one is okay but sometimes you click on the line which means you click on the dot or the marker and the line but if you want to click on the label you can you can mouse over the number see that the handle changed a little here we are selecting the label Okay, so this one I think I'm gonna make it bold. Wait, this one also actually make it bold. Number three is good. Number four, this is good. Number four here is also good. Number five, what do you think? I think if we change it to, to oh, oh, sorry. Okay, we change it to uh, white color, make it bold. And then this one is like deep into the marker. We can't really see it, so we're gonna change the color and make it bold as well. Number uh, number five, I'll get out there, which is the last one here. We selecting the label option. Is it the right one? Okay, data label. Then make it bold and then change the color. Great. So that's it. If you want to change the color to match, like the to resemble the team color, that's kind of tricky. But 
you know, I'm going to show you just one because this is really tedious process. Let's say Barcelona is kind of red, right? So we're going to change it to this one. Fine. But if you want to change this line, you have to change three things. I hope you remember that. First thing, you have to change the line. Solid color, change it to the red one. Now the marker change to like this one also. Let's make sure that the border has nothing here. Okay. Uh, don't forget to change this. Match. Right. That's better, right? Okay. I hope this helped.